Glad you're with us, Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the Thomas and Mack Center just off the Vegas Strip for tonight's main event. 12 rounds in the light heavyweight division. Each man comes into this fight supremely confident, expecting to deliver a W. Bone Crusher's ring walks have become the stuff of legend, and you can see the intensity on his face. Sweet Pea's belief that he can overcome anything is showing through. He's bubbling over with confidence. All right, gentlemen, protect yourselves at all times. Let's touch them up. Well, they've been waiting for this moment, and now they get it. Round one underway. Get your hands up! hand over the top very accurate with it bone crushers defense is now serving him well nice job blocking that punch Blocked there by Bone Crusher. He took a go of it to the body but came up empty. Way through this round here. Hey, 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 let's go! That's a good block by Bone Crusher. And he ties up on the inside. You got this one! Well timed by Sweet Pea. He took a step back, landed the counterpunch. Exactly what he wanted to do. And right from the start, he's throwing the power punches and landing them. I think he has a date and he wants to get to it. Keep going. And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. P's right hand did a nice job that time. That worked well for him. Just 10 seconds to go in this round. Keep working the body. You need to throw more punches out there. You got me? He's out working. You're stronger than him. There you go.
That was good. Nice work. Beautiful. Beautiful. Keep that head moving. And I want to see double jab. Here we go. Round two is underway. Nice block by Sweet Pea. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Keep moving, keep moving. <sighs> Little double jab to the head. He covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. Unable to connect by Sweet Pea. Keep working the chest. A solid uppercut by Bone Crusher. Come on, keep focus. Hits him in the mug with the right. Good block there by Sweet Pea. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Halfway through round number two. She's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. Heading into this fight, we talked about what each man can do offensively. What each man wants to do is have varied punches throughout. Exactly, and what he doesn't want to do. He doesn't want to be predictable. We're seeing a lot of work to the body here early on by him. Teddy, is that a certain mentality, these guys that commit to being a body puncher? Yeah, because they understand that the body punching, you know, that's not something that's glorious. That's not something that, you know, like a great left hook on the chin, bang, it gets results right away. They understand that that's something that pays off later and something you got to start early and stay with. And he's holding. Now this can become a bore, and he's making a decision to do it as he ties up again. He got all into that one. That was a solid uppercut. Final 10 seconds of round number two. Fine looking right hand by Sweet Pea. Bone Crusher's inability to hit the target is really making him look silly right now. He's throwing plenty of punches, just none of them are landing. No, he's throwing them too wide, too far away, and what's going to be worse, right now he's only getting frustrated, maybe embarrassed as you touched on, but what's going to be worse is when he starts getting counted in between them. Listen now, you're letting him work. You're letting him control this fight. I don't know, I don't, you know, you, you gotta impose your will on him. You need to take it to this guy. You're stronger and you punch harder than this guy. And round number three is underway. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Ellie ties up there. Great movement to get away from those punches. And he's just not engaging in the fight. He clinches again. Bone crushers feeling the impact of that powerful hook. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Sweet Pea. Able to show you his blocking ability. Yeah. 
now hugging on the inside. Right to the belt line. Looking good. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. that comes back with a power punch of his own well supposed to be fighting but instead he's hugging Missing the mark by a mile. That just was nowhere to be found. A stabbing right hand by Bone Crusher. That is a sharp uppercut by Sweet Pea. Able to cover up along the belt line, blocks that one. Side to side, scoop your head. Last 10 seconds. Protecting his head well with his guard. Just keep working and this is your fight. Don't get lazy out there, all right? Just don't get lazy. You're winning this fight. All right. Nice work. You can't handle your that speed. It's too much. Just keep it up. You don't need that. I'm going to throw that away. Listen, I want you to pick his jabs. When he throws a jab, carry it away, and you'll catch him. Bone Crusher's ahead on Teddy's scorecard as we take a peek at those scores for the first time here today. Round number four just underway. After three rounds, he finds himself up just a round, but nothing really to pull away early on. Keep working, bud. Able to dismiss that body shot. Keep moving. Keep moving. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. <laughs> nice strike after catching one by Bone Crusher. Just like that, just like that. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. See, that's some fine defense right there. I love that block by Sweet Pea. He comes with the straight right hand. Bone Crusher's keeping his guard up very, very well. Teddy, does it help to have the speed that he has? Uh, sure. Anytime you have speed and you can put it into the equation where whatever you're doing, it has to be technically right, but now you put speed, you're doing it even better. You're doing it at a higher level. Good return fire that time. Keep doing what you do. Bone 
crushers landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. Solid hook. Ten seconds to go in the fourth. And that's the end of round four. Sweet Pea's got to find a way to land more of these punches. It's okay to throw punches, but not if they're just drifting off to space. Absolutely, and space is it. He's in space. He's too far away. He has to get the right range. Woo! That is it. That's it. I need another round like that. Just like that, all right? You're doing good. Just keep it up. Back to live action now in what has been a closely contested fight. One of those fights that somebody is still waiting to break through and be a difference maker in. Teddy, there are opportunities that are here for him, aren't there? Yeah, counterpunch opportunities because he's got an opponent who's walking in a little bit. Now he has a chance to start to chuck something back at him a little. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Sweet Pea. Watch that! Very clever move there. Well, defense turns to offense. The counter punch by Sweet Pea. Good work defensively by Bone Crusher. Plus, he landed that counter punch. Yeah, and he forced him to punch. He made him, he drew it out of him, and then he timed him beautifully. Halfway through this round. Nice block by Bone Crusher. Bone Crusher's putting on a show here, defensively putting on a show. And it's helping his offense because, you know, he's creating holes, he's creating opportunities, holes that he's filling as he makes his opponent miss. He has his target, he lands a straight right. Here's one for you now, he says, right back with the left hand. He clinches when he gets to the inside. Not the most accurate uppercut you'll see. Coming to the end of round number five, last 10 seconds. And that's the end of round five. Sweet Pea's last round to me, Teddy, completely ineffective. His accuracy way off the mark, throwing punches, but lost the round. Joe, talking about being off the mark, if you're traveling outside and you're lost, you need a map to find your way. He needs a map right now to find his way. He needs some direction. Listen, I'm not gonna stand here and watch you take those shots. You understand me? Let's see some defense and more punches. Listen, stop chasing him around the ring. Cut the ring. The start of the sixth round. 
That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the word by Sweet Pea. Not much action as he just ties up. Blocks it away. Nice! Nice! Come on. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Blocks that punch. Bone Crusher showing you a little defensive skill there. I don't move away from that punch. Sweet Pea's in a cycle right now that's not paying off for him. He has been go, busy. Go. Yes, he's committed to trying to be on the attack, but not enough of these punches are landing. Now, I would not call this guy in, from what I've seen, to paint my house. Because, I mean, this guy looks like he paints graffiti boards. I mean, he's just throwing stuff in there, like you said. And it's just, it's not, it's not making the picture you want to see. It's not accurate. It's not effective. Halfway through round six. I'm holding on. Gets rid of that body shot. Working our way towards the bell. Last 10 seconds of the six. Okay, let's go. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. End of the round is upon us, and we have a fighter in front of us who just looks gassed. He looks tired. Now, Teddy, what can he do to overcome that when this fight starts back up? Well, first of all, this is where you search into those corners that you're not forced to search. Kind of like when you were a kid and your mother told you to clean your room and go into those little nooks and crannies where you never knew there was dirt. Now you got to start looking into nooks and crannies inside yourself. Places you didn't know were there before. You better find them. You better find them quick. It has been completely one-sided so far tonight. And he's in control as we start this round. Come on, kid. Come on. They trade shots. He comes back with a right hand. The defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. Showing you some defense there with the block.
halfway through the seventh round. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Sweet Pea. Good way to protect the midsection. Sweet Pea's throwing lots of punches, and not many are landing. But what's that old saying? Hey, you put enough out there, something's going to stick. Well, at least he's controlling the rhythm. He's keeping control of the pace right now. And at least when you're throwing your opponent, for the most part, he's being handcuffed a little bit. Solid straight right hand. Ten seconds to go in the seventh. Okay, walk this guy down. Put the ring off and throw some counters. Every time he tries to throw that right, slip to the side and count. Nice work. Keep it up. This guy never felt a beating like this. Just keep it. All right, listen. You need to create more counters, okay? Slip his punch, then throw a straight right down the middle. Okay, listen. Body and head. Body and head. Double up your punches. Body, then head. Sweet peas down on your scorecard, Teddy, as we start round number eight. But. You know, he's just been outpointed. He, he hasn't been damaged. He's still very much alive in this fight. No, no doubt about it. He's, he's a little lazy, to be honest with you. You know, the normal items that you have in the corner, you know, you have the corner man, you have the punk, you have the sponge. These guys might think about putting an espresso machine in that <laughs> give, corner. Give, give him a little caffeine? Yeah, give him a little shot of espresso. Get him going. Parries that punch intended for the head. Too many punches, hands up! Crusher's having a masterful round defensively. I love what we're seeing from the footwork with him. Very good movement, sound defensively. Is there anything he should be considering adding to that arsenal, though, right now? Well, he's got to find spots for offense. You know, he's making his opponent miss. He's getting them off bounds. He's frustrating them a little bit. You know, pop at the right time. You know, let it fly a little bit in the right spots. You keep your guy off balance. When you got him off balance, you make a miss, make him pay. to improve the accuracy a little bit. That was comical by Sweet Pea. 
Clock counting down here in round number eight. Ten seconds to go. And round eight comes to an end. But I want Bone Crusher's in position right now to really bring home a good victory. He's up on the punch stats. He's up on your scorecard. This is his fight. Yeah, we just hope that the judges, and you never know that. That's one thing that sometimes okay, nice can really score. disappoint nice you in this business. You hope the judges see it that way because I can't see it any other way. He steps inside, uppercut and hook. Uppercut and finish with a hook. As another round gets underway, it gets us thinking, how much more of this will we see? Hard to envision this fight going the distance with how lopsided it's been. Wow, look at that, trading shots. His opponent wanted the body, he wouldn't give it to him. One, two, one, two. Good accurate work there after blocking that blow. Bone Crusher's really doing a fine job here, Teddy, and I know everybody falls in love with the clean, effective punching, but you can make an argument that he's controlled. And out of nowhere, things can turn like that, Teddy. Everything was looking good, now it's looking bad for him. Well, that's exactly why, because nothing was coming at him, his opponent wasn't throwing back, he got a little lax, and he paid a price. Nothing there on the punch by Sweet Pea. And he just holds on there. Last 10 seconds of the ninth round. Keep those hands up. Sweet he's in a tough spot right now, Teddy. I don't know really what the answer is for him because he hasn't shown me enough to prove that he can change the way this fight is going. He's down bad. On my scorecard, too. And right now, he's got to do something that you hate to be in this position, but he's in that position. You have to take relax, chances. Relax. You have to breath. risk it all now to be able to catch up. Anticipate his punches, okay? You got any more of these? I'll do one. Hold it. It's like a whole new fighter out there. Look at him as we start this round. Remember what happened to him in the last round. Now he's up on his toes. Yeah, well, remember what happened to him in the last round. That's what we say, but he doesn't say that. He's putting that out. He's putting it into the rear view mirror. He's going forward down the road with a lot of hope, a lot of vigor, a lot of confidence. <laughs> and 
And he engages in the clinch. Good block by Sweet Pea. He pushes. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Nice work from both men. They each got a shot in. You need to keep that head moving. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. And we've reached the halfway point of round 10. A stabbing right hand by Sweet Tea. You could tell that he was nearly out of gas, so now he's taking a little bit of a break. He's tying up. Hey, look, airplanes have to land. They don't keep flying. They land so they can get refueled. He's getting refueled here a little bit. But his opponent, he gave him a landing strip. He should not have. He should have made him crash into the mountains. <sighs> Misses his opponent's headshot. <laughs> Coming to the end of round number 10, 10 seconds to go. And that's the end of round 10. You need to create more counters, okay? You slip this punch, then throw a straight right down the middle. You have to start doubling that jab, okay? Double that jab. That'll put... Oh, this is a wipeout. You're winning this fight. Just keep doing what you're doing, and you got this. Just... Eleventh round now underway. Bone Crusher's been stringing together all these rounds consecutively. He's got so much momentum here. I think he's going to carry it right through for a win. Well, that's the right way to say it. You know, he's he's riding away, and that wave is taking him right to shore. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. Bone Crusher's opponent landing an effective counter punch right there. Nice work. Nice work. Blocks the headshot. Sweet Peas just being very hesitant right now offensively. His first thought since being stunned in this fight is protect myself, protect myself. It's like he's turned the off switch on his offense. Yeah, but you can't do that. The lights go off, it gets all dark there. You have to find a way to still have that light on. You know, find the window, find the window of opportunity somewhere. They are out there, be creative. Unable to land clean by Sweet Pea. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by Sweet Pea. Halfway through this 11th round.
Sweet Peas so dangerous with that accuracy, a two-punch combination landing. Defense just covering up down low. That was a miss by Sweet Pea. Last 10 seconds of this 11th round. Nice. Nice. Last round, okay? This is it. Last round. Finish this smartly, okay? You have this one. Just be smart. You, you have this one. Listen, you need to move your head from side to side. Listen, you can't let this go to the scorecards. You have to knock them out. It's the only way now. One more time, the last round has arrived. Let's see some defense. Bone Crusher's defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. something to think about now. He just threw a punch and had one coming right back at him. His opponent scored well with the counter. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. <laughs> Halfway through this 12th and final round. Last minute of this last round. Targets his opponent after blocking a shot. And they will bring it home in the last 10 seconds of this final round. Back to the bar! Completely one-sided fight, at least that's the way we saw it. Yeah, I mean... If you saw it any other way, you'd have to put a warning out the next time these judges judge a fight, kind of like on a pack of cigarettes, you know, this could be hazardous to your health. 
I mean, these guys could be hazardous to your career if they scored any other way. Here's the official decision. A well-deserved win by Bone Crusher. Unanimous decision, say the judges. You're going to have your eyes closed and see that one. Or almost closed. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us. We'll see you next time ringside.